Hello, friends, and welcome to this live stream about Milt Caniff and Noel Sickles' epic collaboration for the Postum Hot Beverage ads dating from approximately 1936 to 1938, from what I can glean. Here are these two legendary Ohio comic book artists in their New York studio that they shared when they were coming up. So this photo would have been taken around the time of this exact collaboration. The photos from the Billy Ireland Cartoon Library and Museum. I'll post links in the description to their wonderful site as well as several other informative blogs about these two great artists. Now I find the collaboration between these two guys um, with the postum ads to really exemplify the strengths of both of their work. Milt Caniff was famous for Terry and the Pirates, particularly and later Steve Canyon. Noel Sickles was famous for Scorchy Smith, the pioneering aviation adventure comic in the 1930s. I've done a previous video to that. I will post a link in the description of that as well. Noel Sickles being pretty much my favorite comic artist along with John Buscema. I've done videos on him as well. I'll post links to all those, but this is a really cool uh, picture showing both of them in their studio. This is a drawing that Noel Sickles did of Milt Caniff crashed out on their studio couch. Apparently these guys would work long into the night perfecting their art. Their tables sat facing each other. Their drafting tables sat facing each other, just spurring each other on and really collaborating a lot together. Sickles designed the logos for both Terry and the Pirates and Steve Canyon for Milt Caniff. The way that I've understood this is Noel Sickles was really kind of the mentor to Milt Caniff. They were contemporaries, and but their styles were similar. But look at the artistry of a sketch of Noel Sickles. Noel Sickles left Scorchy Smith in the 30s to basically make more money in the illustration world, whereas Milt Caniff's career was really um, all about the comics, but I just love this drawing. Okay, so let's get into the Postum ads fe featuring Mr. Coffee Nerves. Now, from my research, I've understood that um, the Postum ads here were mostly drawn by Noel Sickles. Um, that's corroborated from interviews of Milt Caniff, um, mostly, although there, there is some confusion that perhaps they switched weeks of who drew what week. But from what I can glean, most of the actual drawing was done by Noel Sickles, whereas Milt Caniff was responsible for the incredible sinister <laughs> Mr. Coffee Nerves. Here you'll see just an, a great character. And they, the two styles really do complement each other. Uh, Milt Caniff developing the Mr. Coffee Nerves, a very expressionist character, whereas, whereas Sickle, Sickles had um, somewhat of a more realistic style, but his characters just have so much energy. That's what I mean by they're just bringing out the strengths in each other. I've also gleaned through research that Milt Caniff did the inking for the strip. Again, whereas Sickles would have done the drawing and I'll show some black and whites here as we go through this video. So Gene gets a curtain call, but Mr. Coffee Nerves gets the hook. You're gonna see a lot of really funny metaphors and uh, analogies, very, very witty these two guys collaborating together. It's one of my favorite parts of this. Gene, that big producer is here. If he likes the dress rehearsal, he may put you on Broadway. 
nonsense. If he wanted new talent, he wouldn't come to an amateur show. Now here's Mr. Coffee Nerves in the with the with the bubble around is representing kind of Gene's evil twin, you know. Uh, he probably just came here to make fun of you. Now Gene's on stage. Stop that music, you nitwits. You've ruined the whole scene. I'm through with you. I quit. Yeah, tell him you could put on a better show with dummies from a store window. Young lady, you were splendid until you blew up. I could use you in my show if you weren't so nervous and irritable. You'd be irritable too if you had my indigestion and couldn't sleep. Tell this old nuisance to pipe down. His chatter would give anyone a pain. Sounds like coffee nerves. When any of my troop feel that way, the doctor usually makes them cut out coffee and switch to post them. Nonsense. Still, if you say it might help, I could try it. I can't feel any worse. Curses. Postum means the hook for me. But, my, but postum is delicious. Why haven't I tried it before? Later. Glad to have you in my show, Gene. You're doing fine, and you're doing, and you're the best natured member of the cast. Why shouldn't I be good natured? I felt too wonderful to be grouchy since I switched to post them. And you can see in the lower right of this frame, Paul Arthur. That is the pseudonym of the collaboration between Noel Sickles and Milt Caniff being a reversal apparently of Milt Caniff's two middle names, Paul Arthur. And the last frame, take a tip from me. If you've got coffee nerves, switch to post them. There's a reason. That's kind of their catchphrase, there's a reason. And I'll read the text in this last frame as it's replicated in just about every strip in, in one form or another. Many people can drink coffee without any ill effects, but many others and all children should never drink it. So if you're nervous or irritable, if you can't sleep or if you have nervous indigestion and you think coffee nerves may be responsible, by all means switch to Postum. For Postum can't free your nerves. It contains no caffeine stimulant of any kind and Postum is delicious. It has a distinctive full-bodied flavor all its own, a satisfying goodness that has made it the favorite drink in millions of American homes. So if coffee upsets you, drink Postum instead. And then even in two short weeks, see if your nerves aren't steadier. See if you don't feel brighter and happier. Postum comes in two forms. Postum as you make coffee and instant Postum made instantly in the cup. Economical too, costs less than one half cent a cup, a general foods product. And this ad here is from, it looks like it says, I don't know, 1940. I thought they collaborated through 1936, but I'm not sure. They may have gone a little longer than that. All right, the next one. Dad gives a good tip and Mr. Coffee Nerves loses another victim. I'll give you one last chance, Jack. If you lose your temper again, you're through. Well, it's a good thing you're letting me play tonight. My dad came all the way from Washington to see the game. Tell this coach he doesn't know enough to teach a kindergarten class to play tiddlywinks. That's enough of your rough stuff, Walton. I saw you elbow that man in the face. Now get out of the game. Tell this dumb referee He's going to play on, if he's going to play on their side, he better put on a basketball suit. You had your chance, Jack, and you fell down. I can't use you on this team any longer. That's the first thing he ever said. That's the first kind thing he ever said. Tell him you're sick of this sassy, sissy game anyway. I'm Jack Walton's father. Can you spare a minute, coach? Certainly, Dr. Walton. 
You were captain here in 09, weren't you? Sorry what happened tonight. What are those old fogies plotting about? Probably cooking up some dumb scheme. Look at the chiaroscuro shadow effect, guys. Um, this is really reminiscent of Noel Sickles talent and artistry, the shadow, the different techniques in the comic layout, just, just really amazing illustration. Too bad about Jack. He's a star player, but I'm afraid he's breaking my no coffee training rule. So he's nervous and irritable. Let me talk to him, coach. We doctors know how to handle these coffee nerves cases. Uh-oh, I was afraid of this. Looks bad for me. It's coffee nerves, all right, son. I think you'd better cut out coffee and drink postum instead. Oh, all right. If it will help me get back on the team... Curses. If he's switching to post him, I'm through. And look at Mr. Coffee Nerves leaping out of the frame. <laughs> Love it. Boy, I'm going to like post him. I never dreamed it was such a delicious drink. Later. Wait while I wire Dad. I want him to know I've been elected basketball captain. Think I'll wire him too and tell him what a fine disposition you've acquired since you switched to post them. Take a tip from me. If you've got coffee nerves, switch to post them. And in this text, in the last frame, they mention trying it for 30 days. Sometimes it's do a two-week post them test or a 30-day to see if your nerves repair. Now, Mr. Coffee Nerves, as you can see in these strips, is very prominent. I'd like to point out um, from Terry and the Pirates by Milt Caniff, who drew Mr. Coffee Nerves' character. Check out the Dragon Lady from Terry and the Pirates here. See the arched eyebrows and the sinister countenance? Kind of reminiscent of Mr. Coffee Nerves. And this is probably... Um, Caniff's most famous character from Terry and the Pirates, but I would like to point out that similarity when we look at Mr. Coffee Nerves. Peter joins the club, and Mr. Coffee Nerves is blackballed. If that new neighbor doesn't keep his chickens out of our yard, I'll kill every last one of them. Oh, Peter, you mustn't offend the Jacksons. He's on the membership committee at the country club. And we're up for membership. Oh, go ahead. Kill him and throw him in their front door. Good morning. My chickens haven't hurt your flower beds. I hope my chickens haven't hurt your flower beds. I'll have their new coop finished soon. Better keep them out of my way, Jackson, or you won't need a coop. I'll wring their necks. Why not settle this once and for all by wringing his neck right now? I told Jackson a thing or two. Betty keeps his little feathered friends home after this. Oh, Peter, you shouldn't have done that. Now we'll never get into the country club. What she care about your feelings as long as she crashes society? Look at his hand with his uh, arched eyebrow leaning in to Peter. Devil's advocate. Mrs. Jackson, hope you'll overlook Peter's rudeness. He's so irritable lately. His headaches and he can't sleep. I know just how you feel, Miss, Miss, Mr. Jackson. Mr. Jackson used to be so irritable too. Listen to her toting to that woman practically eating right out of her hand. Our doctor called it coffee nerves. Mr. Jackson switched to post him, and the change worked wonders. Oh, I'm so glad you told me. Tell her when you need medical advice, you won't ask a chicken farmer. But Peter, it helped Mr. Jackson. It won't hurt you to try post him. Oh, all right. 
I'll try anything if you'll keep quiet about these meddling Jacksons. Curses, I'm licked. Post them and I can't mix. Say, post them is one swell drink. I didn't think anything could taste so good. Later. Well, Peter, how do you like the club now that you're a full-fledged member? Peter's having the time of his life. He gets a thrill out of everything since he switched to post them. Take a tip from me. If you've got coffee nerves, try post them. That, guys, is one of my favorites because Mr. Coffee Nerves is really sinister and vindictive in that strip. Very dramatic. I mean, this collaboration between these two guys rivals the dramatic content in Scorchy Smith or Terry and the Pirates, in my opinion. Really fun. Mother takes a hand, and Mr. Coffee Nerves finds that three's a crowd. Gee, I wish this headache would quit. I've got a date to go skating with Bill Adams. Oh, I'm so thrilled, dear. He's the richest young man in town. He may be rich, but if brains were money, he'd be in the poorhouse. It's about time you showed up. You've certainly met me on pins and needles. You certainly kept me on pins and needles. Why, Mildred, we've got lots of time. There he goes, starting an argument. Tell him to pipe down. <laughs> look, look at Mr. Coffee Nerds with his thumb pointing up to Bill Adams derogatorily. Watch what you're doing. You almost pushed me over. I'm sorry, Mildred, I was just trying to help. Being sarcastic, is he? Tell him where he gets off. Bill didn't ask me to the big dance next month. Suppose the snob thinks he's too good for me. Why, Mildred, I'm sure Bill loves you, but no man would put up with your cross, irritable ways. Say, if she felt as bad as you do, she wouldn't even have a kind word to say for Santa Claus. You'll lose Bill for good if you don't get rid of your meanness. The doctor told you to quit drinking coffee and switch to post him. Oh, rats, nonsense. Pay no attention to such guff. This has gone far enough. I'll see that you do as the doctor said. Uh, she, Mildred is putting her foot down on her daughter. Oh, all right, all right. Anything to stop your nagging. Curses! I can't stay here if Postum is coming into the house. <laughs> Look at Mr. Coffee Nerve's hand up, cuffed up around his ear in that one. Oh, mother, I'm so happy Bill asked me to marry him. I've been expecting it, darling. You've been the sweetest girl in the world since you switched to Postum. Take a tip from me. If you've got coffee nerves, switch to post them. It's a good one, guys. I like the skating scene in this one. Whoops, let me show you. The um, skating scene, the winter scene there with a the nice shadow on the ice. Very nice. Now, this is these next two... Um, post them ads. One's from 36, and the next one I'm going to be reading is from 37. And just pay attention to the different artwork and how the um, story changed somewhat. I, you know, I, I noticed an improvement in the artwork over one year. Also, guys, these are in black and white. Um, I like seeing some of these in black and white because you see the original drawing from Sickles and the um, Mr. Coffee Nerves and just the black and white. And Scorchy Smith was all black and white. And in some ways, I actually prefer this. So check it out. Jim gets a big order, an advertisement of General Foods. Jim, we've got 
to get the money somehow. The bank payment is coming due next month. Oh, stop nagging. We'll have the money if I can sell that old crab marrow a few trucks. He's a skin flint. He'll punt something over on you if he can. What's the cost of operating this truck for a year, including gas, oil, and repairs? Say, Mr. Merrill, I'm no adding machine. I'm just a truck salesman. Tell that old tightwad he'd squeeze the hide off a buffalo nickel. Guys, I got to repeat that. Tell that old tightwad he'd squeeze the hide off a buffalo nickel. Classic line. Jim, that kind of talk may lose Mr. Merrill's order. He's a big oil man. You better see him again. Listen, don't tell me how to handle a customer. Why doesn't your boss shut his face and sell a few trucks himself? Young man, your truck's all right, but there's something wrong with you. Perhaps I can help you. Say, if you had my headaches, you wouldn't talk. I need orders, not advice. Aha! That was a dirty crack. Keep it up. Uh, pin his ears back. Headaches, eh? Sounds like the same trouble I had. My doctor called it coffee nerves. Oh, why? Listen to this old blathers kite. Shut him up quick. Must be an old phrase from the 30s, guys. Blathers kite? Post in the comments if you've heard that one before. I switched a post him on my doctor's advice. Felt great ever since. Why don't you try it and see me later? Oh, I suppose I might as well. I can't feel any worse than I do now. Curses! I'm leaving. Post him always drives me out. Say, post him is delicious. I'll enjoy switching to... A swell drink like this. Later. Mary, look, Mr. Merrill ordered 30 trucks. Now we can pay the bank. Oh, Jim, that's wonderful. I knew you'd get the order. You've been your old splendid self since you switched to post them. Take a tip from me. If you've got coffee nerves, switch to post them. All right, the next one's from 1937, a year later. And one thing I want to point out is like, look at in this first frame, the really nice contrast. It's called chiaroscuro effect, which in Italian means a contrast of light and dark. And in comic art, the greatest masters are really good at that, including Al Williamson. Noel Sickles, um, Alex Raymond, Wally Wood, John Buscema, the, the list goes on. And Noel Sickles was really kind of a pioneer along with Alex Raymond in the Chiroscoro effect. So here we've got similar uh, he well, headline, Jim gets a big order. But you notice some uh, different nuances. Jim, we've got to get the money somehow. The bank doesn't the bank payment is coming due next month. Oh, stop nagging. We'll get the money if I can sell that old crab marrow a few trucks. He's an old skin flint. He'll put something over on you if he can try. What's the operating cost for this truck for a year, including gas, oil, and repairs? Say, Mr. Merrill, I'm no adding machine. I'm just a truck salesman. Tell this old tightwad he'd squeeze the hide off a buffalo nickel. Jim, your meanness may lose us a swell order. Don't you know that Mr. Merrill owns a big truck line? That was different from the oil line previously. Say, you wouldn't talk if you had my headaches and indigestion. Why doesn't your boss shut his face and sell a few trucks himself? Sounds like the trouble I had. Tell my doctor called it coffee nerves. Switching to post him helped me. Why don't you try it? Suppose I might as well. Can't feel any worse. Curses! I'm leaving. Post him always drives me out. Mary, look, Mr. Merrill ordered 30 trucks. Now we can pay the bank. Oh, Jim, that's wonderful. I knew you'd get the order. You've been your old, wonderful, 
self, splendid self, since you switched to post them. A lot of these ads guys were truncated or shortened. Um, I'm noticing kind of diff different frames with sometimes some different wording like we just saw in that one. Now this next one, I wanna show the difference between the color, as you can see here, and this one is the black and white. So just interesting, again, just to you know, take a quick look at the black and white of how it would have originally been drawn. But I know most of you are probably gonna to wanna to see the color, so let's go with that one. The shop shows a profit at Mr. Coffee Nerve's expense. Ladies, your rent is long overdue. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I can't give you much more time. How can we pay rent, Mr. What's his name? Ready? Every woman in town owes us money, including your wife. Oh, he's just sore because you can't make his wife look like a movie queen. They own a dress shop salon. My husband says you girls aren't doing well. I'd like to help, so I'm asking my friends to come here. That sounds nice, doesn't it? Won't that be nice? You know what? Let me zoom out of this one a little bit, guys. I'm having trouble reading the text here. Won't that be nice, Mrs. Reddy? Oh, this is Mr. Reddy's wife. If your friends can just pay their, pay their bills, so she's not, she's not really taking that kindness very nicely. Tell this old gal she's homely. Insult her. Make her mad. <laughs> oh, jeez. But right now, I'd like a permanent. And please, Mary, I'm due at my bridge club at 3 o'clock. Say, if a permanent inf interferes with you bridge, what did you come here for anyway? Tell this old hag to go as she is. No one would tell the difference. Mary, you insulted Mrs. Brady. She left in a rage, and now probably she won't help us. Oh, who cares? If you had my headaches, you wouldn't be always worrying about business. What, has, what right has she to jump on you? Tell her she's not so sweet herself. You ought to do something about that headache, Mary. Why don't you go see a doctor? Oh, all right, I will. Anything to stop your nagging. Tell her you don't need a doctor half as bad as she will if she doesn't pipe down. <laughs> Apparently a case of coffee nerves. I suggest you quit coffee and switch to post them. Well, of course, if you think it will help. Curses! These doctors always too smart for me. Why, this iced postum is delightful. It has all the rich, delicious flavor of hot postum, and it's so refreshing. 30 days later. Thank you for sending your friends to us, Mrs. Brady. We're making money now with so many new customers. Oh, I'm so glad, and my friends all say you've been such a dear. Mary's been simply wonderful since she, since she switched to Postum. Take from me, if you've got coffee nerves, try Postum. Yeah, so their names are actually in that one, Brady. So there's a common thread there because remember, um, there was some guy, Brady Adams, in the previous one. So there we go. Moving along, Dick gets a new partner. Let's see, does that have color? No. Dick gets a new partner, an advertisement of General Foods. What, return that dress? I should say not. Think we're in business for fun? Tell her you'll bet she's worn it a dozen times. And ask her about how paying, ask her, and ask her how about paying her bill. Gee, Dick, but customers make me sick. I always want to argue when my head is ready to split. Looks like we're licked anyway, John. We've sunk every penny we had into this store, and business is terrible. There's a partner for you, wants to get rid of you, trying to squeeze you out. John, we've been partners a long time. 
but you're so irritable lately, you're driving customers away. Oh yeah? That's just like you, Dick, trying to pin all the blame on me. What's he crabbing about? All he's lost is money. You're losing your mind. The bank won't lend us another dime. We can't hold out much longer. It's got me worried. Your health is what worries me, dear. Dr. Ripley is coming to see the baby. Let's ask him about you. What does she think the doctor can do? Lend you some money or buy out the store? Well, John, the baby's fine. But what's this I hear about you? Oh, my headaches and I can't sleep, can't eat. All I ever want is a cup of coffee. Look out, it's a frame up. Your wife put him up to this. Sounds like it might be coffee nerves. Why don't you quit coffee and try post them for 30 days? Oh, all right, I can't feel any worse than I do now. Curses, post them always wrecks my plans. Look at Mr. Coffee Nerves, bounding up on one leg with his hands up in defiance. And also, guys, check out this wonderful frame with the shadows of the tree limbs on the car. And then the shadow on the side of the car. Man, that is classic Noel Sickles right there. I can just tell from looking at some of these frames in particular, the... Noel Sickles artwork. But of course, look at Mr. Coffee Nerves just with his more impressionistic animated style. It, that's why this collaboration is just so much fun to read and look at. Dexter scores a victory, an advertisement for Postal. Tell you what I'll do, Tony. I'll go to the Thanksgiving dance with the one who scores the most touchdowns. Wonder you couldn't make up your mind, just like a woman. Say, who does she think she is? Tell her she's lucky if she goes to the dance with the water boy. Snap into it, Dexter. Wake up. That's the second time you've missed a tackle. Huh? If you'd as lost as much sleep as I have lately, you wouldn't even be able to stand up. Rats. Ask him if he thinks football is still the dumb game it was in 1910. Can't sleep, eh? Have you been breaking my no coffee rule? Well, what if I have? Coffee never hurt me. Besides, I need a hot drink. Sure you do. With your indigestion, he'd be taking a rest cure. Well, we lost the first game in spite of Tony's touchdown. And you weren't even on the field. Why did the coach bench you? Oh, just for breaking one measly training rule. Tell her to keep out of this. When did she start coaching football anyway? W but wouldn't he give you another chance if you promise not to break training anymore? Yeah, he said to cut out coffee and switch to post him and he'd take me back. But that's a lot of bunk. Tell her the coach did you a favor. Now you won't have to listen to her nagging at the dance. Well, if you want to see me anymore, you'd better do as the coach said. I don't like a quitter. If you feel that way, I suppose I might as well try it. Curses, I'm licked. Postum always runs me out of bounds. See how they did that, guys? Out of bounds, football. Why haven't I tried posting before? Boy, but it sure tastes good. 30 days later. Well, how does it feel to be high scoring champion of the state? Fine, but then I felt like a million dollars ever since I switched to post them. Take a tip from me. If you have coffee nerves, try post them. That's a good one, guys. And in another strip here we're going to see a similar theme about the woman not liking a quitter the doctor helps jack get the best of mr coffee nerves jack this arithmetic paper is terrible what's the matter with you lately 
Oh, so the old crank is picking on you again, eh? Let me zoom out a little bit better for this for resolution. I'm worried about Jack's schoolwork. The teacher says he's listless and unattentive. The boy doesn't seem to feel well, and he hasn't been sleeping well either. Uh, let's see, I don't know if I can read this one. Um, something about send them up to your room. Why stick around and listen to them criticize you? What's the matter with your appetite, young man? You're not eating a thing. Oh, I'm just not hungry. My stomach doesn't feel good. Tell them if they don't start picking on you, you'll scream. Taunting the little kid. Wow, this is an interesting strip, guys, because it's showing that a child is drinking coffee when, you know, it's stated um, at the outset that children should never drink coffee. We'll have to find out what's wrong with that boy. Why don't you take him to see the doctor? Oh, all right, I'll do it tomorrow. Don't let him take you to any doctor. Have a tantrum. Um, make an awful fuss. Have a tantrum. Why, this sounds like coffee nerves to me. But surely you're not letting this boy drink coffee. But doctor, I didn't know. I always felt that he needed a hot drink. Of course you need a hot drink. And tell him another thing you need is to be let alone. <laughs> Look at the boy with his arched eyebrow there. Kind of looks like Mr. Coffee Nerves. A hot drink is very beneficial if you give him one that can do no harm. Try giving him postum made with hot milk. All right, doctor, I'll try it if you think the change will help him. Curses, I was afraid of this. Now I'll have to beat it. All right, here's the boy. Gee whiz, but this postum is made with hot milk sure tastes swell. And the doctor said I can have it morning, noon, and night. 30 days later, Jack, your work shows remarkable improvement lately. You'll soon make star pupil at this rate. Mother says it's because I've been feeling so much better since I switched to postum made with hot milk. Take a tip from me, kids. You'll love postum with hot milk, and it's good for you, too. Pretty cool that they're really making a social statement there for kids. You know, guys, this is actually relevant today. Have you read about the increase in um, soda drinking amongst children and the diabetes epidemic in our country? So, I mean, this may have been published in the 1930s when, you know, coffee and tea were all the rage. But, I mean, today it's analogous to uh, soda, sugary caffeinated drinks in the form of soda pop. So kind of interesting how things really stay the same. Sylvia cracks the whip and Mr. Coffee Nerves leaves the act. There we go with that nice play on words. Where's Sylvia? Oh, there she is talking to that animal trainer again. He's no animal trainer. While it took those lions three weeks to teach him the act. But Sid, I was just asking him for some advice about you. I'm worried about the way you've been feeling lately. Well, if, you're think, if you think you're making me feel any better by talking to that animal trainer all the time, you're crazy. Let's go give him some advice on how to mind his own business. I can stand your bad temper, but your jittery nerves and the sleep you are losing will make you miss that trapeze someday. And I'll be a widow. Yeah? Well, where does the animal trainer come in? Tell her to pipe down or you'll show her some temper that nobody could stand. An animal trainer needs steady nerves, too. Once he got nervous and jittery and lost control of his lions. Yeah, but he got out alive, which proves that lions won't eat him. The doctor who dressed his torn arm told him he had coffee nerves, made him cut out coffee, and switch to post him. That's a lot of bunk. And, I, and now I suppose a lion wouldn't bite him even if he bit first. <laughs> it's not bunk. You know coffee doesn't agree with you. I'll bet you got coffee nerves. Why don't you switch to post him? 
Oh, all right, I will. If you'll keep quiet about an animal trainer. Curses, I'm licked again. As Mr. Coffee Nerves fall off, falls off the high wires. Why? I didn't know what I was missing. Hot or ice, Postum is one swell drink. Later. Say, that's a wonderful new lion act he's developed there. Why, that's nothing compared to your own new act. You've certainly lost your jitters and found a better disposition since you switched to post them. Take a tip from me. If you think you've got coffee nerves, switch to post them. The High Wire Act. This is a good one, guys. One of my favorites. George gets his wings and Mr. Coffee Nerves gets the gate. Play on words, guys. Aviation, wings, loading gate. We've been engaged two years, and I'm getting tired of this delay. Don't you want to marry me? George, darling, why are you so irritable? I'll marry you the day you get your pilot's license. If she really loved you, she wouldn't care whether you had wings pinned on your chest or not. Well, you can't put me off any longer. I'm taking my final test flight in the morning. Oh, no, you're not. The captain saw you almost crack up that plane today. Spying on you, was he? Or maybe this snooping sergeant ran and told him about it. Your nerves make you a menace in the air and a nuisance on the ground. You're not ready for your wings yet. Oh, yeah? Say, if you had my indigestion, you'd be in the hospital. If this snoop was as good as he thinks he is, he wouldn't be so fresh with his advice. Why have you got it in for me? I've just got to take that flight. This means everything to me. My girl won't marry me until I get my wings. Sorry, buddy. Captain's orders. And if you feel as bad as you say, you better report to the doctor. Lay off that doctor. When he gets through with you, you'll have your wings all right and a harp. Like he's going to uh, kill him, basically. Turn him into an angel with a harp. So the doctor said you have coffee nerves. What did he advise? He said quit coffee and drink postum instead. But shucks, that's bunk. I'll give up av aviation and get a job somewhere. That's the first smart thing you've said since you told that doctor what you thought of him. <laughs> Look at Mr. Postum spinning his mustache. If you, give up if you give up trying, George, you'll give me up too. I won't marry a quitter. Oh, all right. If you feel that way about it, I suppose I'll have to try Postum. Curses. That washes me out. Postum always puts me into a tailspin. See how they did that, guys? Aviation, tailspin. Wonderful. Say, this Postum is wonderful. It's the most delicious drink I've tasted in a long time. I hope George turns out to be as good a husband as he is a pilot. He will. He's been just marvelous since he switched to Postum. Take a tip from me. If you've got coffee nerves, switch to post them. There's a reason. That is a great post them ad. And guys, here's Milt, Can or, uh, Milt Caniff at the drafting table and standing Noel Sickles, two old great friends in their later years laughing it up about something no doubt reminiscing about good times and these guys are both artists right till the end of their lives here in this dimension and what a wonderful collaboration between the two of them thanks so, so much for watching this video i've just done a little composite here mr coffee nerves milt canis character from this strip and thanks so much for watching. Please post your comments below. And until next time, have a great day.